What's cracking, guys? Oh, you saw here. You already know what time it is. Vinny, come in here, my man. You're with my What's boy up? Vinny. How's it going? So we got a very cool video today. Uh, something actually happened. Shout out to my boy Kane, by the way, right over there, just chilling, always with us. So check this out, guys. Uh, Vinny wanted to make a video today on hip mobility. I actually came to Vinny today with a problem. Uh, apparently, I had a little bit of pinching in my hip. You know, we're doing that rehab series, fixing my broken body. And uh, he did some tests and he's like, dude, that's actually related to internal hip rotation. We did one movement to improve that. We're going to talk about that one first, and then we're going to talk about what you wanted to talk about, general hip mobility. <laughs> so uh, let's get right into this. What was going on, dude? I had like a little bit of pinch. I had a lack of internal hip rotation. Mm -hmm. And then what did we do for that? Because I noticed immediately after I did that soft tissue work that I did see an improvement and that pinch, that pain did go away. So just like break it down. Cool. All right, so what we did with Omar, he came in today. A lot of times when people can't move their hips properly, I look for instability in the body. Um, in his case, internal rotation, it points to lateral line. Everything in the lateral line over here, the internal rotators. You have glute medius, glute minimus, TFL, anterior part of the adductor magnus. I didn't want uh -oh. to go too Whoa. high. Oh. So it's up here. Okay, uh, go on. Okay, and then the point is um, when there's instability in this lateral region, a lot of times the hip muscles will tighten up to provide stability for that area. Okay. Right? So what we did with Omar is... Uh, we gave him a foam roller, showed him how to open up all the oblique muscles all around um, near the rib cage on the side of his body, and then his internal rotation improved. It, it was kind of weird because I was like, uh, I know we're supposed to film this hip mobility video. I said, dude, just one quick thing, like I got this pinch in my hip, and you're like, all right, let me. He did some tests on me. He's like, your internal hip rotation sucks, and I'm like, all right. I'm like, what do I do? And he's like, all right, I just want you to foam roll on this uh, on the side get it done, I'm like, oh, okay, like I'll do that. And I did it, and then I did the test again. I'm like, wait a second, the pinch of my hip went away. You're like, yeah, dude, it's all related to one another. I'm like, all right. So a lot of times what people do is they'll, they'll go dig into the internal rotators and try to open that up, but really it's gonna tighten up right away because the, the source of the problem is actually the instability. Right. right. In your case anyway, some cases it could be true. But right, right, so this is, this yeah. is a specific case, uh, like you were saying, what we're discovering with this rehab series is that where you feel the pain is oftentimes not necessarily where the problem lies, right? Like, Absolutely. so like internal hip rotation, I would traditionally think like, all right, like some self myofascial release, let's try and open up like the hip down here and whatnot, maybe the glute med, but even just working on the uh, uh, obliques themselves actually produced a big change for me. That was a quick little aside, let's call it an appetizer for the main course. Dude, what are we talking about today? Show us the full squat. We're talking all about right, hip mobility. So today we're talking about hip mobility. I've been working on this. Wait, let me take my phone out. Yeah, I've been working on this for a while. So, I mean, better mobility it's, than it's, me. It's all right, you know. You angles. So I'm gonna give a general sequence, just easy stuff. Um, I'm all about easy stuff because easy stuff is the stuff that you guys are actually gonna do, and that's gonna end up sticking with you forever. So, Omar, show us your hip mobility. Show us your hip mobility. Okay. And he has heel lifts too. I so got, dude. I got. Okay. Let, let me that's use these shoes. Good, all right. Let me that's use still these shoes. Good. Let me cheat, bro. All right, give us the quarter turn. Quarter, quarter turn. Show us. Oh, oh. oh snap. Oh snap. Not bad, not bad. Right now in the sequence that you see here, this is for people that are absolute beginners. They cannot even ever imagine themselves that close to the ground being like, oh my god, like I'm gonna fall down and not stand up. Right? right now you're going to see Omar, he's holding on to a chair, he's going to go into a deep squat. This is for if you feel like you're going to fall, uh, the chair is there to help you, uh, give you stability. Right? So right here, um, what you do is you bring your knee and you internally rotate it, bring it immediately into the ground. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring it down to the side, knee to the ground, and you're going to externally rotate out, and then you're going to change legs. All right, and next move. Now we're gonna work on opening up the hips. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your elbows together, right? You can go into prayer pose, right? And then just open it up the hips by forcing your hips out like this, right? You can hold it or you can just um, pump it slowly. It's up to you what you wanna do, all right? A variation of that is actually you can put your fists together to have even more range of motion. Next up, you're gonna grip left hand, Right shoulder, I mean, <laughs> left hand, right ankle, right? And you're going to push away like this. And you're gonna try to open up that hip individually. This is if you wanna get that extra range of motion. 
right? And you're going to rotate, switch, and same thing. So guys, that is the video, essentially what we did today. I came in with a specific problem, you gave a specific uh, solution, one exercise, so foam roll, basically the obliques when you have that internal hip rotation, potentially it could work for you, it worked for me where I had that pinch and went away completely. Then also today we wanna to talk about general hip mobility, right? Absolutely. Uh, some basic things that you should be able to do as a lifter, like the internal test, the external one and whatnot. These are basic drills that everybody that wants to squat should be able to do. Absolutely. Yeah. And just I mean, I wasn't always this mobile. I mean, it trained it over the course of like, I'd say like eight months to like nine months to even get down to that level. Yeah. So you, you can do it. So something, something that uh, we actually, in you. we believe in you. Something that Vinny actually has stressed to me is just the fact uh, of working on the mobility as well. In addition to the rehab stuff that we're doing every single day, get more and more mobile and work on this stuff. So this is a good uh, general guideline how to start to try and work on that hip mobility. I want you guys in the comment section below to post what you want to see from Vinny because we're putting out the content you guys want to see. So make sure you like the damn video. Vinny, thanks for being on, dude. Thank you so much. Dude, where can people find you? Again, Vinny Rehab on Instagram. Check me out. I have a lot of information on it, um, tips uh, every week. Actually, every day, update yeah, every yeah. day. So right now I'm on there, and then, yeah, yeah, check me out. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in that next one. Peace.